exciting time for high school and college sports. The winter teams are playing in tournaments and spring sports are just getting underway. We're joined now by Bobby Santoro of Jersey Sporting News to talk all about it. Bobby, how are you? Doing great. Starting to turn to spring. We turn the clock's head soon. It's, I, you know, finally getting out of winter. Time goes too fast, my friend. So let's talk, speaking of winter, high school, uh, high school winter sports. High school hockey is big right now. We're getting down to the nitty gritty in terms of these tournaments. What semifinal matchups are you looking forward to? Yes, yeah, so for me, I actually have two big ones. Uh, for me, the ones are, they're both in the North, but there's the North Co-op and there's, there's just the public North. Um, for the Co-op, uh, Morris Knowles and then uh, KJS United, uh, which is Kennelon, Jefferson, and Sparta. That, that's my big one there. Uh, you know, it's going to be tough. Morris Knowles, obviously, I went to Morris Knowles. They have, uh, they've been, you know, on a little bit of a run here, but KJS United, their goalie, Ryland Gibbons, has been lights out. He you know, I think he had 37 saves the other day. He's been someone who, especially, you know, in terms of being clutch, has been able to handle it. So we'll see if Knowles can get by them. The second one for me, actually, is going to be Randolph and, um, excuse me, it'll be Randolph and Ridgewood. So I've actually had the opportunity to watch both teams. Uh, you know, Randolph has been unbelievable. They've won their first two state games, I believe it was 7 nothing and 10 nothing. And they have been, you know, Jay Sangara has been a big scorer for them. Um, you know, Shane uh, Melly has been one. Uh, they've been their goalie as well. He hasn't he hasn't faced a lot of shots on goal. I believe in the two games he's actually faced only 23 shots on goal. Hasn't given up any. Last game uh, or the first game, they he only had five shots on goal. So it says something a lot to their defense. But Ridgewood has been a, a powerhouse as well. That should be one that's going to be electric, exciting to watch, and we'll see who can get to the finals in both. Yeah, and this week we've got the quarterfinals in boys basketball. Who are the teams we should keep an eye on there? Well, the one I've been watching a lot and I feel like is going to be a little bit of an X factor is Vernon. You know, Vernon has uh, Alex Fessel, who's been amazing from deep beyond the arc with them. They also have uh, Ben Jerwitz, who has been their big guy in the center, you know, in the center of the court in their front court. He actually last week was able to actually throw down a dunk, which was wild. It was awesome to see. But they, he's a monster on the inside. Uh, Fessel has been great from deep. They're a team that I think can actually move, you know, move forward uh, into maybe, you know, the, the finals and go into maybe the state finals as well. I've just seen them come back from deficits. I've seen them, you know, be able to hold leads, hold off comebacks. They're the biggest team that I that I expect and they have a big matchup with Newton this week. Well, let's switch over to girls basketball. Which team is the best team in the state right now, would you say? So. It would record wise, you'd say Morris Catholic. Morris Catholic definitely has been um, fantastic all season long. You know, they've been a powerhouse. Uh, the other one I'd say is Pope John. Pope John has some great, great players in their team. There's uh, Mia Washington, who actually had a great game in their state game, uh, I believe, earlier in the week. She's been lights out. Uh, there have been so many players on Pope John, and their coach, who actually was a Randolph coach, came over in his first year as Pope John. I was able to see his first home win this year as well. They, the two of them are easily top two. Deciding between the two, I would lean towards Morris Catholic, but Pope John definitely has the fire and can, you know, it would be a great match to see them play each other. Well, how about college hoops? Seton Hall men's basketball won yet again. Do you think they have a shot to get into the NCAA tournament? They absolutely do. If they, they have a tough, uh, you know, tough test coming up this week. I believe they play Creighton this week. Uh, that'll be tough. Even if they lose these two road games this week, they have to really just beat Villanova, which they lost to in Philadelphia a few weeks ago. But uh, they can easily get in there. They just need a few more you know, good wins. They've, they're clicking at the right time. Uh, Dre Davis has been phenomenal for them, uh, as well as their guards as well. So they're, they're putting up points. I think they actually have a very good shot as long as they take care of business. Well, as winter sports wrap up, I can't believe spring sports are already here, including baseball. And wouldn't you know, our alma mater of Rutgers is off to a hot start at 5-1. I'm not trying to age myself here. Maybe I am a little bit. But Todd Frazier was the big name when I was at Rutgers. Who are some of the big names this year? Big names this year are their ace, uh, uh, Christian uh, Coppola. He's been unbelievable for their for, for his first two starts. They, he's, you know, he's one of the, I believe he's top top 100 at least in prospects for going into the 2025 draft. They have um, Tony Santa Maria, which is uh, his nickname is actually Tony Tanks. He's been unbelievable as well. He has three home runs, 10 RBIs, he's batting 375. They even have Anthony Volpe's brother on there as well. 
who's been having a great year too. They seem to be clicking. Their pitching is is been amazing, and they're hitting the ball almost as good as anyone in the, in the country right now. So it is early. It's only six games in, but this seems to be one of the more fun Rutgers baseball teams that we've seen in a while. So look out for you know look out for Christian Coppola, Tony Santa Maria. They're all both of them are the two big players I look to watch, and we'll see if they can make a run to the College World Series. But it's good to have some spring sports back. Absolutely. Bobby Santoro of Jersey Sporting News. Always a pleasure, my friend. Thanks so much for taking the time this morning. Thank you, Mike. Have a great day. Head over to ONNJ.com for the latest news in sports anytime.